Hi there. Now, in this question, we've got to find the equation of a normal to a curve. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, just give you a moment to pause the video and have time to read it. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution and the methods involved. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So to do this question, what I would think about is, first of all, drawing a sketch. So I've got an idea what what's happening. And we've got our curve y equals f of x. I don't know what it looks like, say, so I'm just going to draw some curve like that. This is the curve then y equals f of x. And we've got a point on the curve. We're told at the point 425 we've got to find the equation of the normal in this form. So let's mark that in as the point 425. Now I'm being asked to find the equation of the normal at this point point here on the curve. So let's suppose that this is the normal to the curve. Remember the normal is perpendicular to the tangent at this point. And if we just draw in the tangent, let's say it looks something like that. Okay, it's meant to go through that point there. This is the tangent. Put that in tangent. And in order to get the equation of the normal, the normal is going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. x1, y1 is a point on the line. And we know that. We know that x1 is 4, y1 will be 25. Only problem is we haven't got the gradient. But we can get the gradient very easily by working out the gradient to the tangent and doing the perpendicular gradient to it. Now we can get this gradient because all we need to do is turn to this equation here. It gives us the gradient of the tangent at any point on the curve. And to get that gradient here, we just need to do f dash or f prime of 4. Once I've got that gradient, I can take the negative reciprocal of that gradient to get the gradient of the normal, the perpendicular gradient rule then. And then I've got my value of m and I'll have my equation of the normal, which I can rearrange into this format. So that's where I'm going with this um, question. So let's start, first of all, by getting the gradient of the tangent. So if we just put an intro here, gradient, I'll just abbreviate that, gradient of tangent. Well, that's going to be equal to f prime of 4. And if we substitute 4 into here, we've got 3 eighths of 4 squared minus 10 times 4 to the power minus a half. So that's going to be 1 over the square root of 4, in fact. OK, it might be easier just to write it like that. And then we've got plus 1. And so working this out, it comes to 2. And so... Therefore, applying the perpendicular gradient rule, remember what we do is we take the reciprocal of this gradient and switch the sign. So the gradient of the normal okay, will equal minus one half. So with that, we're now in a position to work out the equation of the normal. So just put that here equation of normal. We know it's got this format up here. We just got to put in our values. I'll, in fact, I'll just say normal at 425. And so therefore that normal is going to be y minus y1, so that would be y minus 25, equals m, the gradient, which is minus a half, times x minus x1. x1 is the 4. And to get it in this form, there's no fraction, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And if I do that, I'm going to get, therefore, 2y minus 2 lots of 25, so that's 50. And then here, this is just going to leave me with minus 1 times x minus 4. So minus 1 times x is minus x, and minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. And then 
To get the first term here, the x term positive, I'm going to add x to both sides, so therefore we get x, then we've got the plus 2y, and then I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so we get minus 54, and that equals 0. So you can see this is identical to that form, and a would be 1, b would be 2, and c would be minus 54. All right?